Welcome. In the last video, we were working with Flutter and Flame to add baked good objects like a piece of chocolate cake. And in the debug console below, we are getting the level of the baked good inventories. The baked goods are needed for George, the hero of our story, to meet with his neighbors in the future. Today, we're going to enhance the Flutter overlay system that goes on top of the Flame game widget. We're going to use the material color tool to select a couple of colors. You can search for this on Google. I'm going to select the second darkest blue gray. And I just copied the hex code into my clipboard. Go into the button controller dart, dart file and then wrap the icon button with a container. So I just clicked on the light bulb. Then I'm going to use the color property of the container and I'll use color 0x ff for the alpha transparency and then I'm going to paste in the number, the hex number that I just got from the material color tool. 0x means that it's a hex number. ff is the transparency, so ff is the darkest. It's a hex hexadecimal, so ff would be equivalent of 255 in decimal and it's a bit too dark so i'm going to try to increase the transparency of the you know that alpha channel so if we maybe use a number like for example 5f we can immediately see that the transparency has increased quite a bit maybe um, a bit too much so let's use 8f and maybe run with 8f going to wrap the second icon button also in a container and we'll copy the color uh, property from the first container over to the second one so the two volume buttons will now have the same level of transparency and it's a little bit easier to see with this darker blue gray with a transparency, you know, it's almost about half the transparency. I'm going to comment out the text. Um, number one, Codebaker did not like the text string for the track icon buttons, and it's looking good. We're next going to focus on the lower portion of the screen here. The lower portion of the screen has a um, an icon for the number of friends. So let's repeat the process for these uh, image assets. Just wrap it with a container and then we need to pick a color here. Another technique to pick the color is to use a color picker with VS Code. This time I'm using the alpha channel and the individual RGBG as decimal numbers, so from 0 to 255. The alpha channel is 167, it's about right in the middle. With the numbers close to 255 and all about the same, it's going to be a lighter gray. Most people just use a tool, right, to get the, the color string, or I mean the color numbers here. So either the material color tool or the built-in color picker, picker with VS Code, both of them won't work. The main thing to play around with would be, which might be new, is the alpha channel, which is the transparency. That's also in a value from 0 to 255. I'm going to put another icon for the number of baked goods I have in my inventory. So I'll, I'll put a spacer here, which is a size box of width 20. Then I'll copy and paste the icon or, or the image asset and the uh, number from the number of friends below that on the row so that now it's a duplicate but let's just change that to the baked goods number so we're able to pull it over from um, the the main flame game and let's change it to choco cake. So now there's a piece of cake and a number to the right of it. 
which should be the number of baked goods that we have in our asset inventory. You can play around the size and the scale of it. And then let's restart the game and test it. I'm going to run into a bit of a problem here because you actually need to insert uh, the overlays.notify listeners to get the overlay to update. So if you just noticed, um, I clicked on the, or I went over the chocolate cake and the overlay did not update. And that's because I forgot to put the notify listeners for the overlay inside of the on collision. So right after we update the, or increment the baked goods inventory, uh, I'm gonna use game ref .overlays .notify listeners, and that notify listeners is part of Flame, um, and it's part of the overlay uh, package. All right, so now let's test it again. Going for the choco cake again. I see. Boom, it was updated. So there's a cheesecake. I knew it was there. We've now got two baked goods. Boom, the uh, friend has now been uh, updated. You should, the friend doesn't disappear because that friend graphic is actually glued to the map. Okay, everything seems to be working very nicely. In the next video, we'll look at maybe adding some sound effects and other features to our game. Have a great day. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.